tonight. Most of the tower also still to come. But first, a defence of the WBC International Light Heavyweight title for Willie Hutchison up against Germany's Martin Hoogan. Commentary from Dan and Richie, but first, Dev Sarni. Ladies and gentlemen, live on TNT Sports, our next contest of the evening is 10 rounds for the WBC International Light Heavyweight Championship. Let's welcome to the ring the reigning and defending champion from Carstair, Scotland, Willie the Hutchinson Hutchinson! So here's Willie Hutchinson, the destructive light heavyweight from Lanark. He's another man on a night of early nights who's planning on having one. Our next contest of the evening is 10 rounds for the WBC International Light Heavyweight Championship. It's brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensbury, along with their great sponsors, 42 Red and Unibet. The bout is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Your supervisor in charge is Des Reeds, along with the World Boxing Council. The president, Maurizio Suleiman, the supervisor, Domingo Matas. Introducing your three scoring judges from ringside. From Landau, Germany, Mr. Alexander Volter. From Bilbao, Spain, Mr. John Fernandez. And from South Oxy, Mr. Lee Every. Your timekeeper is Mark Shannon. And your referee, A star referee, Kieran McCann from Harrow, England. Introducing first the challenger in the red corner. He has a record of 17 wins, only two defeats, with 10 big wins coming by way of knockouts. At the weigh-in, he's scaled 12 stone, 5 pounds, and tonight he wears the black, red and gold shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Geiland, Koschen, Germany, Martin Hu. Across the ring in the blue corner. He has a record of 16 wins, only one defeat, with 12 big wins coming by way of knockout. At the way in, he scaled 12 stone, 6 pounds, and tonight he wears the white, red, and pink shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting from Carstairs, Scotland, the former world amateur champion, and tonight he is the reigning, defending. WBC International Light Heavyweight Champion, Willie the Hutchinson Hutchinson! Right, gentlemen, you've got your instructions in the dressing room, you know what I expect. Keep the fight clean, obey my commands, and most importantly, protect yourselves at all times. Shake hands, lads. Final words there from the referee, Kieran McCann. So, Willie Hutchinson's in there tonight with a new haircut and an eagerness to get back at it after 10 months out of the ring and the talent to go a long way in the sport. He's up against the German in Martin Huben with a decent record and some power, but he has been stopped before. And if we follow the form tonight, Richie, it might be a big surprise if he can handle Hutchinson, but I suppose we'll find out over the next 10 rounds or as long as it lasts. Hutchinson's a very skillful boxer indeed. He's got a lot of talent. He's a switch hitter, very fast reactions and speed of punch. Huben looks much more traditional, doesn't he, in terms of high guard, typical sort of German-European guard, uh, um, stance rather, um, works well behind his jab, but as you said, Fletch, 17-2 record, so 10 knockouts, decent power, 
Huben, but this is his first time in the UK, and most of those contests... Oh, a punch in Germany. Really good shot, long right hand. Huben feels the power of Hutchinson for the first time and had to just stagger back towards the ropes. That was a beautiful shot from the Scotsman. Yeah, fast off the mark, wasn't it? From Hutchinson, quality work there. There's another one, right hand, spearing through the guard, landing flush on the jaw. He's been sidelined, Hutchinson, with what he's described as niggling injuries, frustrating, really, off the back of his career best win against Ezekiel Moderna the last time we saw him. He was the man that um, was able to beat Caroly Tama, and he's made a really good start here, hasn't he? Landing a lot of power shots early on in this first round, Hutchinson. Yeah, Hooven can't get behind that jab, can he? He's struggling here. If it's a slow jab, then that right-hand counter that comes from Hutchinson, who's planning the attacks well from distance. So I think he's, he's controlling the pace here. Very well indeed, he's Hutchinson, just planning these attacks. Huben is making the mistake of allowing Hutchinson to work at his pace. But yes, um, it's a good start for Hutchinson. A switch hitter, Willie Hutchinson, so he switches between orthodox and southpaw. It's been that long right hand has been the punch doing the damage in the opening round. Scheduled for 10, WBC International light heavyweight title on the line. Willie Hutchinson defending tonight. Uh, he's been the boss in there so far, and Hooven already knows exactly what he's in for. Oh, again, slow jab from Hooven. That's another mistake he's made, and gets caught with a fast right-hand counter. And there's Hutchinson just switching to southpaw as he's, his leg just crossed there, but the skill and the talent, you can see the, the flair in his work, Hutchinson. The speed of punch, again, Huben just can't cope with that. Probably not used to it, and certainly he's making mistakes with slow jabs, and he's getting caught with fast right-hand counters. This has been a good opening round for Hutchinson. He's won 16 of 17 fights, 12 stoppages, the only blemish, the loss to Lennox Clark, and he's putting his punches together really well in there. Really good combinations and good power shots as well mixed in. Final few seconds of the first round, and it's been a really good one for uh, Willie Hutchinson. No need to finish him now, relax. Let it come natural. Yeah. Very Let's good. Have a look at that it. big shot, Richie, early in the first. There it is, that right hand. Yeah, very fast right hand counter. Huben throws a slow Ten jab seconds. that misses the target. It falls short, and you get caught with a shot like that on the counter for Wilkinson. That was good, impressive. Well, we're at uh, York Hall tonight in Arena Bay in history. First built in 1929. They started boxing here in the 50s. There's a gym here and a swimming pool that was full when we arrived earlier today. And you can feel the history oozing out in every brick that this arena has been built with. So second round of ten, and I would hazard a guess that Hooban can't have many rounds like he endured in the first if he wants to hear the battle battle and do some damage here tonight. Hutchinson was accurate and sharp and pretty heavy-handed as well. Well, he's, he's trying to use his jab over and keep the fight at distance, but it's too slow and it's missing the target, and he's probably a little bit too far out, so it's falling short, which is allowing Hutchinson just to come back with those fast right-hand counters. He's got fast reflexes, remember, um, Willie Hutchinson, and he's a skillful switch hitter. Pace is suiting him down to the ground, so we need, definitely need a tempo change from Huben if he's going to have any success in this contest, but it's all Hutchinson up to now. The movements in there of Hutchinson highlighting the confidence that he's boxing with and he's just starting to drop his hands a little bit and walk around. He really fancies this tonight. Hoopman's been at the top rank gym in Las Vegas preparing for this. He's won his last three, all of them via the distance. And only two defeats in 17, so he's got some ability himself, but he's just been too sharp for him to this point, Willie Hutchinson. Yeah, speed of punch is um, crucial here for Hutchinson. But also, Ruben, I think his judgment of distance isn't very good, Fletch. He's falling short, he's, you know, he's, got, he's tall, he's got good straight shots, but he's missing time and again. So he just can't get the distance right. But Hutchinson, yeah, he's got flair and ability, and he's a quality boxer. Hutchinson in the white trunks, Ruben from Gelsenkirchen in Germany. He's five years older than the Scotsman in the black trunks with the German flag 
on the back. Pitching to land a couple of jabs of his own, but he's found it difficult to pin it down. Oh, what a shot! Right hand, knocked him clean off his feet. What a punch from Hutchinson. Beauty. Quality shot that was from Hutchinson again. Speed of punch. Hooven seemed to drift back, didn't he? Hutchinson just took the initiative, went forward and caught him with a big shot. Well, let's see whether he can finish it now, because that rubs him to the soles of his boots, and he's piling on the pressure, and he dives in to stop it, Kieran McGann. It's a punch-perfect performance from the destructive Willie Hutchinson. Brilliant finish, and Willie Hutchinson defends the WBC International Light Heavyweight title, and he was mighty impressive in there in doing so. Very good performance indeed, went through the gears at the end there, didn't he, and hit the target time and again. Caught him with a big right hand just, in, just above us, uh, Fletch, but that was pretty impressive. The first right hand was a great shot, he knew he had his, he had his uh, opponent uh, in trouble, but then he went through the gears and put the work together, through those combinations and got him out of there. Yes, very impressive, Willie Hutchinson. That's nine wins inside the opening, three rounds for Willie Hutchinson. The right hand, Richie, took him clean off his feet. It was an absolute beauty. Yeah, and the thing is, with Huben, you know, he's probably got away with it in the, in the past with another contest, throwing those jabs. He was a little bit too far out, like I said, his judgment of distance wasn't good. He kept falling short, and it was a slow jab. And that's all Willie Hutchinson needed. Pretty slow jab in front of him, coming back with those fast counts. Let's have a look at this here. Misses with the hook there, but then just moves in with fast feet and catches him with a superb right hand. Bang on the button. That's a cracking shot, it really is. Hooven seemed to drift, didn't he, backwards. But here the finish was really impressive. Putting his shots together, twos, threes, fours, sustained pressure. That's the big one that caught him and the referee had seen enough. So went through the gears and got the stoppage. Let's have a look at it here, Fletch. Big right hand coming up. There it was there, and that's when the referee came in. Brilliant finish, great work, very explosive, great to watch, isn't he, Willie Hutchinson? He's never in a bad fight, he's a real entertainer, and he said he had the haircut because he wanted to look like a savage, and at the moment it's all aboard the Hutch train, isn't it, because he's just stopped another man. He's been called out recently by Ezra Taylor, he's talked about Dan Aziz, he might want the winner of Anthony Yard's next fight if that goes well, but one thing is for certain, you'd pay to watch him because he's so exciting when he's in the ring. Uh, let's get confirmation then of an explosive victory tonight for the Scotsman Willie Hutchinson from Def Sari. Ladies and gentlemen, at the time of 2 minutes 32 seconds in the second round, your referee calls a halt to this contest, therefore your winner by KO, and still, WBC International Light Heavyweight Champion, Willie the Hot Train Hutchinson! Well, as a 13-year-old, Willie Hutchinson wrote his future down in a notebook. He wrote that he'd eventually be the WBC World Champion. It followed statements in the book that he'd be World Amateur Champion, which he achieved in 15 memorable days in St. Petersburg in 2016. He might have a crystal ball. He certainly got very heavy hands. What well, a sportsmanship at the end there, but it was destruction before the stoppage came. You talk about ring rust, almost a year out of the ring and, and no sign of it there. No, he, um, he got his feet there. Steve Bunce just left me actually call. There'll be a right hand that finishes it, and uh, what a right hand. Well, the right hand starts. I'm struggling just to control his friends and his family because that's how much it means to him. Willie, I could only imagine, right? It's a long time, a year is almost a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine the injuries, the niggles, everything else, but you oh. look so composed, so dedicated in there, so disciplined. You tell me about your thoughts, though. Listen, I needed that, do you know what I mean? Last time I didn't, I didn't enjoy it because my man got took out on a stretcher and I thought it was done. So I'm taking me, me time with this one, I've enjoyed this one. I've had a long camp, 12 weeks I've done over in Spain, never went home, dug in, done what I had to do. Now, this is me now, this is my first fight again in 10 months. If there's, if there's any any luck, I've never had it, and I can assure you. But now this is me, and I'm back, and I'm on form, and I just want bigger and better now. I want I want everyone, I want whoever next. They, I want these big names, I want the Yardies, I want the Bawatsis, I want the Bawatsis, that other fella. 
uh, who did Boatsy beat? Dan Aziz. Dan Aziz, and them types. And then once I beat them there, I won the world titles. You're in the best, you're in arguably the best division domestically, the light heavyweight division. You just named three massive names. Yeah, yeah. What is it about Willie Hutchinson in terms of the message you, you know said? What's different between me and the rest of them is I'll fight every one of them one by one, and you can choose and pick whoever one you want first. I'll fight anybody. Oh, he's not short of words. Like absolutely anybody. Willie. I'm going back, I'm going forward, and if it's my way forward and beating the likes of these type of people, then I'll beat them and then I want Bouvel. But, uh, the other one, maybe call them any last one of them. I'll fight anyone. It's in me blood. Since I was, since I've been nine years old, I've got it in me, and I'm ready to rock. I like it because you just named five five light heavyweights that are world recognized in terms of what they've biggest, done so far biggest. and the biggest, right? But I want to talk about you for a moment. I want to talk about this journey that you've been on. Yeah. I mean, a year is a long time, as we just said at the top. Just talk to me the mental side in terms of just being back on this stage right now and enjoying it with your fans. Thank God I've got this man. I said it once before, two, two years ago, this man saved my life, never mind boxing. He saved me. Forget about the boxing side of things. In personal life, this man brought me to life, and then, thank God, I'm still here boxing. Hey, and I'm getting better. These fellas, oh, I love them. I couldn't pick a better team. John, since I've been nine-year-old, James, Andy. We're here, I've enjoyed it. These are enjoying it, we're having a good time. Look at this, I'm in London, man. I, I, think, I think I'm the hey, I think I'm the one we've got I had the most people here. Hey! There's no two ways about it. Willie Hutchinson makes hey, his no makes Don't think his... about me. Is I can talk. Yeah. And now you can see I can walk the walk. Let's go. <laughs> he can talk, he can walk, and he can definitely fight as well, Redsy.